Hello, welcome to the Advantage webinar. Today we will talk about Industry 4.0 trends and technologies. And we will talk specific about how to connect the production data to the IT applications by using IoT software framework Web Access. My name is Jim Ten Broeke and I'm the BDM for Industrial IoT. Advantage is a global developer of manufacturing of industri industrial PCs, communication and IO. To address this fast changing market and to enable our customers to build IoT and Industry 4.0 applications, Advantech has developed a strategy based on IoT framework and devices focused on vertical solutions and working together with partners. When we look to the IoT value chain, we see that Advantech is combining hardware platforms, including communication and IO products with infrastructural software and collaborate with our ECHO partners, applications like Microsoft Azure and others. Our customers are easy built up the hardware and software infrastructure and add their domain expertise applications to complete the project. Within the industrial IoT, we recognize two major segments. On the left side, you will see the smart city with infrastructure, building automation, water, wastewater and energy. And on the right side, you see the smart factory or industry 4.0 with the production facilities and all logistics and facility around it. Advantage is focused on applications in both areas with application ready platforms addressing the needs in these particular applications. Industry 4.0 means the fourth generation of industrial mechanization and automation. For now, production is mainly driven by the fast changing consumer demand. We see trends like just-in-time management and configurable products. But production is also influenced by regulations, of course, uh, energy savings and waste control. These topics are asking for way more flexible production, what is relying on the fast evolving technologies. Let's take a closer look to the trends in the IoT. Every communication around IoT and Industry 4.0, we see the fast growing number of connected devices and things. Be aware that these numbers also include all commercial grade uh, of products like wearables and household products. But also the industrial IoT products and things will grow fast the upcoming years. When we look to all processes around us, we will already see the trends of connected processes. Think about your flight where all logistic data is connected and communicated, or the smart factory where the production is connected to the suppliers to get the raw materials just in time. Some intelligence service processes you can see below. The today's smart factory is driven by cost and profit. This means cost savings, higher performance and less waste. But also quality and green are important drivers for our producer today. To achieve this, to, uh, the, this requires to the, get the right data at the right moment out of the production facility. Analyze this data and use it to control and improve the production site and facilities around it. This data, which is necessary to analyze, improve, and control is in many cases already available. Think all data available in local control equipment like sensors, frequency converters, PLC, HMI, but now also the, the, the specific data can be needed. The infrastructure need to support the communication of all this data and therefore plays a very important role. We can define five areas in the factory automation where we need uh, the data acquisition, analyze and improve uh, makes the most sense and where the improvements has the highest impact. Management execution system, MES, including OEE, uh, quality and inline production testing, uh, factory facilities and environmental and machine automation in general, including robotics, AGV and machine vision. These five areas are also the focus areas for Advantage within industry 4.0. So now let's take a look to the technologies and products supporting our Industry 4.0 strategy. 
Advantage is offering a very wide range of platform, each with their own specifications, dimensions and focus applications. To meet the changing market the demand for ready out of the box control solutions, we have started developing communication fit for purpose and start working with multiple partners, each strong in their own domain. This has resulted in our various application ready packages. Advantech will continue developing these kind of solutions for the system integrators working on IoT type of projects. Commonly used in the application ready packages and well appreciated by our customers is IDOR. IDOR communication and I, uh, IO standard. IDOR modules fit into a standardized slot and they are internally communicating over our mini PCIe connection. This technology has been developed together with Hilscher and is now already extended to a wide range of field bus, wireless, IO and peripheral uh, uh, modules. IDAR is now available in multiple platforms like UNO, ARC, TPC and APAX. It will bring the customer ease of use. Industry 4.0 is all about the data collection connecting to the IT level applications. To do that, both worlds need to connect to each other and speak each other's languages. Also, uh, network diagnostic is an important part of a successful and efficient infrastructure. Advantech has developed an unmanaged switch which manages uh, capabilities. Although the switch is mainly connected to the nodes, it will also have uh, quality of services and diagnostics embedded. The switch is also understanding shop floor like data like Modbus, uh, connecting directly to every SCADA system and IT protocols on the other hand. Uh, you can see that on the left side. This series is called ProView. Another development is to bring IT functionality into the products. This trend is driven by the need of IT engineers to easily connect to the factory data and bring the data to the right application. Also in general, IoT functionalities are developed to meet the changing way of data acquisition and control. For example, a built-in access point. This means that every oh, after power up, you can easily connect by typing the IP address in your, in your smartphone or tablet or uh, laptop. This can be uh, any browser. Via the web browser uh, built-in, you can configure the module and monitor the data without additional software. Also, HTML5 support, built-in data logger, and direct process value conversion are built in this WISE 4000 series. Another development is the Atom 3600 series. Uh, this is an intelligent RTU, a remote terminal unit, uh, with the same IoT functionality as the WISE 4000 series. It is a base unit with expansion possibilities based on the Cortex-A8 uh, and Linux. A soft PLC is pre-installed uh, to achieve the plug-and-play character uh, or in this case uh, plug and program. Uh, of course you need to uh, program uh, uh, this, uh, this combination. Both Atom 3600 and WISE 4000 uh, have uh, direct cloud access. The ability to publish data and send it into a cloud-based uh, solution like uh, Dropbox or uh, Microsoft Azure. And here you can see an example uh, of the Atom 3600. Uh, it has uh, two mini PCIe slots. Uh, one in this case can be used for Zigbee to communicate with the, the field uh, valves and uh, field sensors. And the other one uh, can be uh, GPRS uh, to communicate the data from the field to the control. Uh, so it can also work as an, a protocol converter uh, to convert the data out of the field from one protocol to another. Also a new development is the, the, the APAC series. Uh, we already had the APAC and the ADAM 5000 series as a DIN rail PC controller, a modular flexible uh, DIN rail PC. It's based on an open system and it's for harsh environment. So if you look uh, uh, where we start, that's a standard industrial PC. Then we have our uh, box PCs, and embedded box PCs, and the most uh, 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 reliable uh, system, and the most flexible system, 
is the modular uh, APAX 5580. It's an, uh, an high performance uh, IoT controller, it's a generic controller, while it's got multiple uh, inputs, outputs and field bus connection. Uh, we are using IDAR technology uh, also in this product, that means that all available field bus modules, but also I.O. and uh, generic uh, uh, I, uh, IoT uh, 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 cards can be used. And then communicate to the field. Uh, of course, also uh, you have the standard LAN, the USB, uh, VGA. In this case, also uh, redundant power supply is possible. And we're working on a UPS module, a battery module, to back up the system uh, when the power is, is down. Also hot swappable, so you can uh, uh, insert modules on the power. And we can have redundant cabling, we can have redundant I.O. and redundant processors. Uh, this is an, uh, a good example uh, in uh, more and more cases, and that's also uh, a trend. Uh, people want to combine uh, video images with control, uh, control networks and control data. Uh, and in this case, uh, the, uh, the APAX 5580 with this powerful Core i7 uh, can do that job. Uh, to uh, have it uh, on a remote station where you do some remote controlling of pumps or valves or conveyors or, or vents. And then uh, communicate it, uh, including uh, video, to a uh, central room, or uh, publish it, or send it to the cloud, or analyze it. And here, you can see an example based on the Adam uh, 5560. Uh, in both cases, uh, we can run Codesys. Codesys is a uh, soft PLC, uh, which we are now using on all our uh, platforms. We are deploying it on all our platforms. And Codesys has got not only a, a runtime to uh, have the soft PLC functionality, but it also got uh, a target visualization, that's a local visualization built in, and a web visualization uh, to do remote uh, HMI. Uh, that means that uh, you have only one open controller where you also can run other applications. It has it's, uh, it's got the soft PLC. It can do communication, in this case uh, a Modbus serial, uh, Modbus RTU, with I.O. modules in the field, or Modbus TCP, Ethernet-based uh, Modbus, uh, connected to remote I.O. And you have your uh, local visualization, uh, that's in this case an uh, FPM, touch panel monitor. And uh, remotely in the field, you can have your uh, remote uh, visualization, in this case a uh, WebOP uh, 3000. And uh, all the three applications use the same database, which is now running into the, the, the controller. Uh, we start uh, developing uh, uh, codices on our platforms uh, uh, last year, and, and this whole year we worked on it. And now it's available for our uh, Adam 5000 series, APAC series. Uh, we have it on the UNO and uh, TPC. Uh, we will uh, deploy it on uh, all uh, systems and all uh, kind of uh, products uh, like box PCs and, and uh, digital PCs uh, because it's a, a very big benefit for our customers. Uh, I think especially the business model of uh, Codesys, they are global uh, leader in, in soft PLC. Uh, in many cases, uh, companies are using it uh, but not showing it uh, to the outside world, but their core engine is based on Codesys. And in some cases, it's open codices. And, and uh, Advantage is using open codices. That means that the an engineering environment is for free. Uh, you can download it for free from the codices website. And it's the same for all other uh, hardware platform. And uh, you work with the runtime. You download the runtime. And then you can uh, do your, your thing. But you can easily copy it to other hardware platforms. That's why we are using open uh, codices. Uh, many others are closing down uh, codices. That means that you need to buy the hardware, the engineering environment, and, uh, and all other things at one uh, vendor. Uh, but we, uh, as Advantag, want to stick to open codices and deploy uh, uh, and develop open codices. We are now uh, using the engineering environment, so the standard programming, the runtime, and the visualization, and the field bus. So we can now connect. Uh, to all field bus available, uh, Profinet, Profibus, Ethernet IP, uh, Powerlink, Ethercat. And uh, we will uh, continue to uh, deploy that. The other modules we are developing, like motion control, 
uh, uh, Codesys is also got safety, but that's for the, the longer term. So for now the summary. Uh, Advantage is offering an uh, application ready platform for uh, hardware communication and the software you need uh, to build up your application. Uh, system integrator can easily uh, buy and complete uh, application ready platform and then start uh, adding their domain expertise and uh, build up their complete uh, IoT solution, their IoT project. We are uh, providing, uh, again, the application ready platform and we are not a system integrator, so we are working together with system integrators. That's the, the main goal of uh, Advantech and we are working with partners to complete this uh, application ready platform. Our focus is not on core machinery where you have a uh, high rate of motion control, but everything around it. Uh, in the smart factory, uh, all the facilities around it, but also HMI applications, MES applications, uh, OEE, uh, uh, maintenance, uh, predictive maintenance uh, applications. That's where Advantech is uh, strong and uh, focusing on. And uh, in the smart city, everything which got to do with inf infrastructure, water, wastewater, uh, energy, renewable energy, uh, oil and gas, and then uh, pipeline, uh, remote uh, IO, building automation, and also uh, power and energy, and agriculture. Those are uh, vertical markets and uh, typical applications where we are focusing on. Thank you for my part. Let's now focus on, uh, on web access and especially the new version, uh, web access version 8.1. Uh, and my colleague will now uh, start explaining you all about uh, this uh, web access. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Hank, product manager for Advantech Web Access. I'm so happy to be here today to introduce Web Access 8.1, the newest version to be rolled out at the end of this month. In this section, I'll brief you about the major features provided by Web Access 8.1, Advantech's newest HMI SCADA software offering. Web Access, as the cornerstone of Advantech's IoT solutions, is the world's first HMI SCADA software based on web browser, which means that the user can implement configuration and monitoring control via an IE browser, and that the software provides powerful networking capabilities. With Advantech Web Access, users can develop control logics from project nodes via internet or intranet and implement graphic control. Web Access provides compelling SCADA functions, including advanced alarm management, scheduling, real-time trend charts, and historical trend lines, support for OBDC communication, and rich form and report functions, such as user-defined reports in Excel format. Web Access also provides additional functions designed to meet demands of specific vertical markets, such as multipoint touch or demand control for industrial SCADA usage. Advantech Web Access also supports HTML5-based cross-platform dashboard for remote monitoring control operations. The newest version to be released also provides widget generator and integrates Advantech intelligent video solutions as well as open interface for programmers to develop applications more flexibly. Up to now, more than 20,000 sets of web access have been deployed globally. The biggest deployment in terms of geographical area is seen in Taiwan's memory manufacturer Inotera, which has used 80 sets of web access in building up SCADA nodes for monitoring their facilities, engineering projects, production procedures, and factory environment, in a bid to implement overall planning, surveillance, and controls on an integrated basis. And in terms of I.O. number, the biggest application is located in a large intelligent building in Tokyo, which deploys 240,000 I.O. points and three redundant systems in implementing building automation, including automated lighting control and HVAC control, among other intelligent functions. Advantech Web Access, as the core software of Advantech IoT solutions, can be used in various industrial applications, such as building automation, oil and gas, water treatment, renewable energies, factory automation, and intelligent farming. Advantech Web Access features unique development environment, open architecture, and complete SCADA functions, providing maximum benefits to users. In Web Access Professional version, 
we provide free support of up to 1,024 client ends, free backup functions, and free development tools. We also supply support for multiple communication protocols and device drivers, all free of charge. Open I.O. interfaces are also provided. Last November, Advantech released its new generation HMI software, Web Access 8.0, which adopts the newest HTML5 technology, providing brand new user experience. HTML5 is the latest development standards for HTML and has been supported by major browsers including Internet Explorer, Chrome, Firefox, and Safari. The dashboard design of Web Access 8.0 is completely based on HTML5, providing cross-platform and cross-browser real-time data display, analysis, and judgment. Also, Web Access 8.0 provides new open interfaces like RESTful and pluggable widget plugins for users to develop their own app programs integrated with Web Access. The dashboard provided by Web Access 8.0 is a cross-platform and cross-browser human-machine interface for data display and operations. The user can use analysis charts and tables provided by Widget Library to edit displayed content and associate the I.O., and then monitor data collected from the I.O. via Web Access through Browser Link. The Web Access 8.1 version inherits the major characteristics of Web Access 8.0, but with enhanced functions and features in dashboard and open interfaces. In Dashboard, Web Access 8.1 provides Widget Builder for users to create their custom widgets. The new version also enhances dashboard management capabilities. In Open Interfaces, Web Access 8.1 provides latest SignalR APIs for users or developers to integrate applications more efficiently by selecting interfaces most suited to their needs. Lastly, as the core component for Advantech IoT solutions, the newest version of Web Access has also enhanced expandability by integrating Intelligent Video Surveillance IVS solution. The new functions of Web Access were developed to meet users' practical needs. In a typical scene of project development, the programmers establish a real-time monitoring control system to monitor the status of production lines and collect information. Now with Web Access, Managers and programmers can use mobile devices to view real-time data and analysis results from a remote location via the dashboard provided by Web Access. Meanwhile, to cope with increasing needs for IoT-based monitoring control, developers tend to develop software applications suited for specific industries. With Web Access, they can easily develop custom dashboards and data analysis applications for users of different purposes, or they can incorporate their developed systems with their user's manufacturing execution system with seamless integration. Another major function provided by Web Access 8.1 is Widget Builder, which is aimed to offer a graphic-driven development environment, allowing users to build up widgets suited for their own needs. The Widget Builder provided by Web Access 8.1 has the following traits. 1. Cross-platform and cross-browser. Like the previous version, it also supports HTML5 and provides cross-platform and cross-browser features. The user can simply use any browser linked to a project node to develop their project. 2. Comprehensive Graphic Tools It provides users with basic shapes including square, circle, Bezier curve, or buttons with adjustable properties. 3. Rich Dynamic Effects and Layers the user can set up animated effects corresponding to properties of different objects, such as movement, rotation, fill, scaling, etc. Alarms and status can be set up as well. 4. Widget Management Once the user completes the making of a widget, the widget will be automatically exported into the widget library of the dashboard. The Web Access Widget Builder also supports widget import-export functions among different projects, the user can export their widgets to be used by other projects or import widgets from other projects for reuse. The Widget Builder is as what you now see on the screen, which can be divided into six major sections for description. The menu provides major function options, such as Files, Edit, and Draw. The user can create a new canvas here, import a widget, select functions to edit the widget, and export the widget. 
When the user selects a major function from the menu, a corresponding category of functions would appear on the toolbar. For example, the user can select all drawing tools from here. On the left side is the widget list, which shows all stored widgets with a tree diagram for users to quickly select one and start editing. At the center of the window is the canvas, where the user creates, renders, and edits graphics and images. On the right are collections of properties, where the user can select colors, sizes, fonts, and frames for their works. Animation is done here, too. At the bottom of the screen is the status bar, which shows information about the position of each component on the canvas and setting of its basic properties. Now, let's present how a Web Access Widget Builder functions. In this demo, we want to display the liquid level in a container, how the water level rises or lowers, and how the corresponding value changes. First, we log in the project and open the dashboard. Then we click on the button for Widget Builder on the upper right corner and enter Widget Builder's page. Let's import the container's image as a background photo. And then we select a square in the painting tools, drag the tool to form an area indicating liquid, and select a color from the right for this area. Then we set up the test points and select an animation effect. Here we select Fill and complete setting of the liquid level. Next, we'd like to show the value of the liquid level here beneath or at the bottom of the container. Similar to the foregoing steps, we import a picture as background and type some text on it. In the same way, we set up character size, font, and the position of the text, and increase an area for displaying values. Pin down the I.O. point and center the text. Now we've developed a widget. We should save the widget, give it a file name, enter OK, and finish the work. Let's go back to the Dashboard Editor page by clicking on the Dashboard Editor button on the upper right corner. Now we can see that the widget we just built has been automatically imported into the widget library, where we can drag the widget out, set up data refresh time, and complete configuration. Meanwhile, to verify the values of the new widget, we select another widget which is linked to the same I.O. points. In this demo, we use a meter for control experiment. Finally, we save this dashboard page and run Dashboard Viewer. In the viewer, we can see the two widgets show the same value and the displayed liquid level rises or lowers with the changes in values. In Web Access 8.1, we offer brand new dashboard management functions. The first is Dashboard Project Backup, which allows users to make copies of their projects and store in another disk, or import a similar project, make some modifications, and reuse it. The second is Widget Import Export functions, which allow users to save a copy of widget tools in hard disk or export them to be used in another computer. The two new functions are to allow users to reuse tools they've developed with small modifications so as to save development time and effort. They also allow users to make full backup of their dashboard projects and widgets so as to reduce risk of loss. Now, let's demonstrate how widgets can be exported and imported. We'll export a button widget and import this widget in another engineering project so that the widget can be reused. We open the Dashboard Editor, click on the Widget Export Import function button, and in the dialog frame, we select the widget we want to export and give a file name to it. We have to answer the pop-up questions and click OK before we can successfully assign the file to a directory in HD and save it. At the moment, the widget will be saved into HD in compressed zip format. OK, now we'll go to the next step. We'll connect our computer to another project 
and import the widget we've just saved in hard disk. We log into the new project and enter the page of Dashboard Editor. In the same way, we click on Widget Import Export button and select File. Going through the pop-ups, we select the zip file we just exported. Click on OK and we see the tool in the widget window. Back to Dashboard Editor, we open the widget toolbox and see the widget just increased. Select the widget to place it on the dashboard. Then we'll set up new IOs and revise data refresh time and save the changes. In this way, we can move the widget to different projects for reuse as we like. Now we can see the button show the associated I.O. status in real time. In this new version of Web Access, we also provide the new generation Open Interface Signal R to increase a tool that developers can use to integrate systems. In its earlier version, Web Access has provided an open interface of RESTful API, which allows users to retrieve data via advanced web service. Similar to RESTful API, Signal R provides rather convenient methods for programming. What is different is that RESTful communicates with servers with request response polling method, while Signal R with server push method, which pushes refreshed data automatically to the client ends, allowing dashboards or third party applications to get changing data in real time. Due to the characteristics of Signal R, the data volume in transmission is smaller than other protocols. Therefore, Signal R is very suitable for IoT application scenarios. Programmers can select a suitable interface to integrate with Web Access for varied IoT applications. They can also select the custom widgets they designed to integrate into the dashboard. Or they can use RESTful API for polling data from servers. And they can also use Signal API for integrating real-time applications. Now, we'd like to introduce the video surveillance functions incorporated in Web Access 8.1 which can be used for real-time surveillance control, video playback, and alarms monitoring. Through seamless integration with Advantech Intelligence Surveillance System, Web Access allows users to oversee images set from IP video cameras on Web Access pages. Also, with the Web Access page, users can enter time to search and playback video footage of that time. Web Access can also receive events from IVS system and implement event-triggered alarms, which can directly link to and play back related video images for users to monitor. This IVS integrated solution allows Web Access users to conveniently increase video surveillance and facility monitoring applications without the need to shift among different application programs. The alarms mechanism also helps users respond to all kinds of events at the first instance, and can retrieve video footage related to those events as quickly as possible. Now, we'll go on to demonstrate how Web Access Integrated IVS can function. We'll open a project on Web Access and set up tags connected to IVS software, which will allow the events received in IVS system to trigger a Web Access alarm. Now, let's open a client and display through ViewDAC real-time display software. And you can see in the lower left corner, there's an alarm shown in red characters. We click on the alarm and enter an alarm web page. In this sample, the web access has received an event alarm on a detected moving object. Then we can select this event alarm and click on the IVS playback button at the lower right corner to watch video footage of that detected moving object. Now the video images from IVS system have appeared in the window with indication of event trigger status. Now we can see that any moving object within the detection area is deemed as an independent event which can trigger an alarm in web access. In this video, we can search and play back images of requested time. Have you seen the date on the upper left corner of the screen, which shows September 14, 2015? Now let's go to the time search bar to change the time to September 13, 2015. Enter, wait for data transmission, and see that the time shown on the upper left corner has been changed to September 13. Now you're watching video of September 13. In conclusion, Web Access is now more than SCADA HMI software. 
It's also an open platform for Internet of Things applications. Web Access 8.1 has further bettered the dashboard functions provided in the 8.0 version and offered a greater variety of open interface. It also inherits many existing advantages in precedent versions and allows programmers or users to enjoy the benefits brought by a more productive and efficient graphic control software. The advantages brought by Web Access 8.1 include reduced time and cost in system programming and maintenance. These are all the features an excellent software platform must provide for industrial IoT applications. No matter if you're developing industrial programs for a vertical market, you want to integrate your applications with cloud-based big data analysis tools, or you plan to integrate equipment data with corporate information systems, such as MES or ERP, you can easily achieve your goals with web access and reduce efforts in system integration. Therefore, web access as an open platform for industrial IoT provides flexible and compelling tools to satisfy needs of various industrial IoT applications and system integration. The newest Web Access 8.1 is persistent in pursuing advancement, aimed to help our customers maintain their competitive edges and ride the trending waves of IoT technology. You can search for all information about Web Access on our dedicated website, where you can also download the newest trial version. At this moment, the newest official version available on the website is Web Access 8.0-2015-0816, and the official announcement of Web Access 8.1 is slated for November this year. All functions in the new version will be open for trial use, with two-hour limit on each operation period. Documentations are also available on the website, including manuals and Q&A. You can also ask questions in the discussion area. Thank you for your attention. If you require anything, you can contact our salespersons in your country or city or close to wherever you are.